It's taken 10 years to build and cost close to $5 billion. Ethiopia's flagship infrastructure project is a great source of national pride. But the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam on the Blue Nile has caused tension with downstream countries Sudan and Egypt from the start. The Ethiopian government says the hydroelectric dam is vital for the development of this immense landlocked country, which has a population of around 108 million. The country plans to export electricity across the region and says the dam will stop seasonal flooding in neighbouring Sudan. But Egypt says there are a number of outstanding legal issues that need resolving and that filling the reservoir too quickly could reduce its water supply and may pose an existential threat. Egypt does have legitimate concerns. I mean, the Egypt relies on the Nile for 90% of its freshwater needs. Uh, and the largest share of the river runs through Egypt, through Egyptian territory. Uh, and what we have a, in Egypt is a situation where they have a significant gap between the amount of water they produce and the amount of water they consume. Uh, and with a rapidly growing population of over 100 million, uh, it points to this problem only getting worse. Ethiopia also has strong claims because it's the source of the Blue Nile, the largest of the River Nile's tributaries. Ethiopia was never included in a colonial era agreement between Egypt and Sudan that gives the lion's share of water to Egypt. There are many finely balanced calculations, including internal political ones that are at play here. You know, for example, in Ethiopia, you have Abiy Ahmed having come into power in 2018. He wants to secure his position and, and, and you know, re be re-elected in future elections in, in Ethiopia. In Egypt, you have President Sisi with, you know, an economy that has had been struggling, uh, but also he needs to ensure that he has the continued backing of the military establishment in the country, which, of course, has an important role in that uh, uh, economy. In late June, Ethiopia rejected a UN Security Council meeting requested by Egypt, saying the council should not be involved at all. Ethiopia's UN ambassador said the dispute should be solved at a regional level. African Union talks hosted by South Africa failed to forge agreement earlier that month. In February, the US and the World Bank mediated what it hoped would be a roadmap on how to proceed with final technical and legal issues which concerned Egypt in particular. But Ethiopia did not sign the final document. Ethiopia always said that it would have preferred agreement before it begins to fill the reservoir. But if that wasn't possible, it would go ahead anyway. It has potential huge security implications for the entire region. Ethiopia accuses Egypt of repeatedly dragging its feet over the issue of filling the reservoir something it says Egypt knew would be inevitable one day. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.